Hi, I just wanted to make a few comments on the um, uh, the incident in Colorado with the uh, Dark Knight movie premiere uh, shooting incident. Basically, if, if you're not real familiar with the elite or the Illuminati or the people that run the world uh, and the uh, tactics that they apply to people, mind control tactics and so on and so forth uh, through you know institutions like the CIA, the FBI, um, mind control experiments like MK Ultra, all the things that were carried over through Pro Project Paperclip, uh, you know that the Nazis continued on after World War II in this country. Uh, if you're not aware of those things, I would invite you to go and research those things. But if you're not aware of those things, this probably is not going to really make a lot of sense to you. But for those of you that are on the same page with me here. There's some real weird things about this, uh, you know, right off the bat, I mean, if you know about this kind of stuff, then you know it's not crazy to think that these uh, organizations, and I'm not just talking about like your typical FBI agent that's, you know, uh, just an average guy like, you know, the rest of us and doesn't really know what's going on. I'm talking about the high-ranking people, the people that are up there, the people that are in the know, the people that are... Uh, aware of the agenda and the people that uh, actually do worship Lucifer <clears throat> and uh, you know so it's not crazy to think they could pull some guy like this off the street uh, you know dope him up with a bunch of mind control drugs or, or you know all these different things that they do to people and so on and so forth and all this stuff that they that they have that we don't know about and then have him go off and uh, uh, do the incident like, you know, do an incident like this and then basically become a Lee Harvey Oswald, you know, the fall guy. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't surprise me at all. But what, what I do want to say is, you know, with all the stuff that we've had going on, um, you know, last year they had the, uh, the, uh, was it 12 or 13 crystal skulls, you know, for the Mayan priests to, they moved them across the country and did all these rituals with them at different places in the nation and so on and so forth. Uh, you know, then we had the uh, Revelation 12 sign on the Feast of Trumpets of September 29th last year. Uh, the halftime show, Madonna's, you know, very, very satanic halftime show uh, and the message that was conveyed in that. Uh, Barack Obama's comments about uh, it raining men and winning the war on Christmas. If you haven't seen that, uh, go look. You know, go look for that on YouTube. But uh, you know, it it in 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 that whole comment about raining men. Yeah, it. Uh, I don't really. Obviously, this has nothing to do with homosexuality, which is what Obama was talking about at the time. But for those people that are uh, up on the uh, terminology that are used by these people and so on and so forth, you realize that he was actually making a reference there to uh, the Rain Man, which is the devil. Uh, you know, this, uh, there's videos on YouTube about that if you want to go learn about that, learn about Rain Man and how it's used in uh, music, rock music, rap music, hip hop music, you know, you know movies, even the movie Rain Man, uh, all this kind of stuff, and uh, you know how it, it applies to the devil. So, uh, what I'm getting at here is I think the elite are basically, in, in a way, informing each other that the revealing of Lucifer uh, is right around the, you know, right around the corner. And this, as a person, as a Bible-believing follower of the Messiah, uh, this doesn't surprise me either because we did see the Revelation 12 sign last year on Feast of Trumpets, which tr the theme of trumpets is a warning, okay? And so we seen the, the, the sign on the heavens and on the Feast of Trumpets. This is a warning, and then what's the very next thing that happens in Revelation chapter 12 after the man-child is born? Michael and his angels fight, and the devil and his angels fight, and the devil gets cast out of heaven. Well, well guess what? When he gets cast out of heaven, where do you think he's going? He's coming here, and he's going to be mad. And uh, and really, this is what I think is is going on. I think these Illuminists are just placing that right in front of the the faces of everybody. I mean, they're 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 Kabbalists. That's what their religion tells them to do. Um, 
And they are also, you know, and then also we had, uh, so like I said, we had Madonna's halftime show. Uh, the Easter service for the Vatican, I mean, they were, I don't know if you've seen those videos or not, they were openly invoking Lucifer by name in Latin. Okay, I mean, they were calling him by name, claiming that he's the creator, this, that, and the other, and all sorts of all sorts of blasphemous things. And so, uh, you know, so there's this, this is really this is really, and then when you, you have the Olympics starting in a week, and there's a whole bunch of things about the Olympics. If you haven't seen my Olympic video, go and take a look at it. And there's a whole bunch of other videos on YouTube about the Olympics too. But, anyways, to get to the point of this video. The Dark Knight Rises. That's what Batman is called. This this Batman, the Dark Knight Rises. Now we know who the Dark Knight is. I mean, think about it. It it sounds I mean when I when I think of that, Dark Knight Rises, I think of the the you know, the devil uh, rising out of the abyss. I mean, the the king of the bottomless pit, he's coming, he's got his locust, he's on the way. So um What's interesting about this, though, is why would the Illuminati do this? Well, it's possible that this may be a blood sacrifice. I mean, they do these kind of things. You know, 9-11 was a huge satanic ritual. These, these, when these things happen, um, they are, you know, they are blood sacrifices. And it's, it's for the point of invoking the rule of Lucifer upon the earth. So uh, it's not crazy to think that uh, there are organizations out there uh, with high-ranking Luciferian officials that would could take a person and like I said dope them up on all sorts of mind control drugs and then send them out to do something like this for the purpose of sending a message and the message is like the movie the Dark Knight is rising and they now have performed a blood sacrifice or a blood ritual to invoke the rise of the Dark Knight which we may actually see, like I said, the Olympics start in a week. We had the Revelation 12 sign last year, so uh, you know this is getting really serious, and uh, we should definitely uh, look into it. You know the original numbers. Um, there's some people I've seen saying that they don't think anything's going to happen on the opening ceremony. Uh, what I will tell you is this: if you're not familiar with September 23rd, 2015, which is Yom Kippur 2015, and the significance of that date as as being a potentially uh, very, very probable date for the return of the Messiah, uh, if you count back 1,260 days from that, you come to uh, April 11th of this year, which would have, which if that's the case, that would have been the beginning of the 1,260 days, which would mean that we would see. Uh, the revealing of Satan and his angels here probably pretty soon and um, it kinda looks like it's going that way in the world so you know like I said this could be something very uh, this could be something very you know serious and uh, you know when I seen the original numbers they said uh, 12, 12 people were killed and then 38 were injured now I don't know you know that it's possible that might be a code if you take those numbers and sort of rearrange them around a little bit you can come up with a date you can come up with 8 3 12 so I wonder you know if there's maybe some reason we should be watching August 3rd to see if anything possibly could happen on that date um, also 12 people were killed in theater 9 you know we had 9 11 already now 9 12 you know that could be some symbolic of something it was uh, the Century, I think the theater was called the Century 17 Theaters. I don't know if there's any significance to that. So there's all sorts of things for us to figure out. But from what I understand, now the, now the injury count is like much higher. It's like 70 people or 71 people or something like that. So that's a big difference from 38 to 71. So there may definitely be some significance in those first reports of, uh, you know, some sort of uh, encoded message or some sort of date or something like that. And... Uh, so needless to say, even if something doesn't, what I'm getting at is even if something doesn't happen on the opening ceremony of the Olympics, it's definitely good for us to definitely still keep our eyes open because it may not happen on the opening ceremony. It may be a few days into it. 
all the other thing is too, like I was saying, if with September 23rd, 2015, you take the 2300 days and nights out of Daniel, which, which some people say, since it actually says 2300 days and nights or evenings and mornings, that that actually just means 1150 day cycles. Uh, and if you count back, if I recall, I think if you count back 1150 days from September 23rd, 2015, you come to, I think it's either July 30th or July 31st of this year. So that might be another uh, prophetic significant date there as well. So, you know, anywhere from like the J July 27th through, you know, the first week of August, we could, we definitely got to keep our eyes peeled. So I just wanted to mention a few of those things and, uh, as always, thank you for your time. Go watch the Olympic video. All right.